Hello? Today's video is about how to make your Venus flytraps red. I know a lot of people out there would love to make their Venus flytraps red. When I was younger, I grew Venus flytraps, and I always saw pictures of Venus flytraps online with like this gorgeous red interior, but I didn't know how to get there. But growing these bad guys inside, I've learned a lot about how it works, so I'll show you. Come along. All right, you want to make your Venus flytraps red, it's 100% the lighting. And what I mean by that is Venus flytraps tan like we do. When you're out in the sun long enough, you may get burned, but you'll also get a nice tan. Some people can tan better than others. And it's the same with Venus flytrap varieties. You have a plant like this one, this variety is called Grown. It doesn't tan at all. It stays green, even in the most intense light. Then you have a variety like this one called Maroon, Mon called Maroon Monster. Look how dark that gets. And then you have something like this. The red inside these traps only get a nice pinkish color. The pigment in people that make us darker is called melanin. In Venus flytraps, it's called anthocyanin. I think there are some other pigments also, but I think it's widely agreed that anthocyanin is the number one. Look at that tanned boy. Another one. Oh wow, such sun exposure. You need sunblock. Like I mentioned, how much one plant can tan compared to another plant is its genetic potential. Now the only way to find out what it can do is to make your plant feel like it's in full direct sun. Now outside in full sunlight for six plus hours a day, you'll see some results, but I'm indoors. And if you're like me, what can we do to bring out that redness? Well, in the description I included some links to some videos that were very informative for me. If you don't want to go through the dozens of minutes to watch those videos, videos, I'll give you a briefing right now. In the wild, the bluer end of the spectrum is usually where ultraviolet light lives. Not usually, it's definitely where it lives. And as we know, ultraviolet light causes damage, dry rotting appliances, skin cancer, etc. Ultraviolet light is pretty intense for plants too. So they tan, just like we do. I've already said that. But indoors, how do we do that? Well, right now I'm growing these plants under white shop lights that are pretty strong and are at a specific color temperature of 6500K, or as they call cool, cooler, or cold white light. If you aren't familiar with color temperature, the lower the temperature, the warmer the color of the light looks. So we're talking yellows, oranges, deep oranges, reds. Those are very low color temperature numbers. So these higher temperatures, these bluer lights, they trick the plant into thinking it's being exposed to a lot of UV light. And so what do they do? They tan. And we're not tricking them too much. You really are getting a lot of light from my setup. I've made a video about that, but specifically I want them to grow with the characteristic style that a Venus flytrap grows in when it's under intense natural direct sunlight. After all, the ultimate test of a Venus flytrap is getting enough light is its pigmentation. So there you have it. Some people will have the those blue and red combination lights, or some lights will have those blue and red into the spectrum simultaneously, so it'll come off as purple or even pink. If you really have a preference for those kind of lights, just make sure that your Venus flytraps are getting enough blue in that setup. But like I've said before, it's not necessary. I mean, I grow my plants on white shop lights. They're not even grow lights. They're just strong, and they're at the color temperature of 6500K. All right, that's all. Make some red plants. Mm -hmm. Hi.